Hello, lovely ones. Let's solve this beautiful equation together. It's so easy, right? And by inspection, you would just say that this is the same. Since the parts are the same, it just gives you 2 plus x is equal to 2. So that you have x will give you, remember this is positive. So you have 2 minus 2. And when you subtract this, x will give you 0. Just know that this is just one out of the solutions for x, okay? Observe carefully that this is raised to power of 4. So what it means is that this x is going to have four values. And this type of equation is what we call aquatic equation or what we call polynomial of degree 4. I'm going to teach you how to solve this to find the four solutions and don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comment section let's do this together so we're going to begin with solution so let's repeat what we have we have 2 plus x to the fourth power is equal to 2 to the fourth power now just remember that for every a to the power of m to the power of n it is a to the power of m n the powers we multiply so for this, we can rewrite it to be 2 plus x raised to power 2. Then it's also raised to power 2. When you multiply these two, obeying this, it gives you back 4. So you've not changed anything. And this is equal to, for this, it's still the same as 2 to the power of 2 raised to power of 2. Now we can now bring this to the left side so we subtract, okay? So in that case, we have 2 plus x is raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 2 is raised to the power of 2. So keep solving this. Remember, everything will be equal to 0. So if you keep solving, we have. Just remember from here that for every a squared minus b squared, it is a plus b into a minus b that is your difference of two squares and you observe that the whole of this expression is raised to this power and this value is raised to this power so it means we are going to have two plus x to the power of two this value we take it as a and this one we take it as b so it's going to be two plus two squared so we have 2 squared, okay? Let's put this in bracket. Then we also have, repeat this, we have 2 plus x raised to power 2 minus 2 squared. Everything is equal to 0. So just keep simplifying. This will give you 2 plus x squared plus, remember 2 squared is 2 times 2 to give us 4, okay? Do same here. We have 2 plus x squared minus 4. And everything is equal to 0. Interesting. Now, just quickly remember that for each time you have a, b to be equal to 0, is either that a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So what this means is that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So let's work with this first. So in that case, we are going to have 2 plus x all squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, to expand this, remember for every a plus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is going to be our guide to help us to expand this. So it's going to give us, this will be, 2 squared plus, use 2 to multiply your a and your b. So 2 multiply 2 and x, then plus, this is our b, so we have x squared, okay? Then remember, plus 4 is equal to 0. Keep solving this. So this gives us 2 squared, as you know, is 4, plus this will give us 4x, plus this is x squared, plus 4 is equal to 0. You observe that this has led you to quadratic because the highest power of x is 2. So let's simplify it. We have x squared beginning with the one with the power, the highest power, then plus 4x. Add 4 and 4, it gives you 8 is equal to 0. So we can use our quadratic formula so that x will give us negative b plus or minus 
square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, remember that your a is always the coefficient of x squared. So our a is 1, our b is the coefficient of s, which is 4, and our c is the constant, which is 8. We are going to plug these values into this formula. So to now have, so this gives us x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of our b is 4. So we have 4 squared minus 4. Our a is 1 multiplied by 8. Everything is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So keep simplifying. x will give us negative 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 4 times 4 to give us 16. So minus. This will give us negative 32, okay? And it's divided by 2 times 1, we give us 2. So keep simplifying. X will give us negative 4 plus or minus. If you subtract this, it gives you negative 16. And it's divided by 2. Now you observe that there is a negative sign in this square root. And each time you have a negative sign in a square root, just know that that solution is leading to a complex solution, okay? So to simplify, to remove this negative, this is x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of, this is the same as negative 1 multiplied by 16, okay? So this is what we have, is divided by 2. Now remember for every root of a, b, it is root of a multiplied by root of b. So we can apply it here. And if you do that, you are going to have x will be negative 4 plus or minus. This will be root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 16. And everything is divided by 2. So keep simplifying. x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. Now this square root of negative 1, just know that root of negative 1 it's always represented with i. It's an imaginary unit. So this is going to turn to i multiplied by square root of 16 is 4. It's divided by 2. So from here, we now have x is equal to negative 4. We can use these two as the denominator for each of them. Okay? Plus or minus. Multiply this, you have 4i divided by 2. So it gives us x is equal to, this will give us negative 2 plus or minus, this will give us 2i. So this gives us the first and the second value of x, okay? So we're going to find the remaining values of x. But you have to also remember that we made a statement earlier. And to recall that statement, we have, and at this point, it shows what you are doing interesting. Don't forget to give this tutorial a like. Let us know how you feel about it. You can also share your own thoughts about this class in the comments. I will read it with you. You can also share this with others to learn. Thank you and let's continue. So to have. So we recall that 2 plus x squared minus 4, as we said earlier, is also equal to 0. So let's solve this. So we're going to have this, as we also said, is the same as a plus b squared. It is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So for expanding this, we are going to have 2 squared plus 2, we multiply 2, multiply x, okay? Then plus x will be squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So keep solving this. We are going to have, this will give us 4, this will give us 4x plus x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So rearrange this, we have x squared plus 4x, 4 take away 4 is 0, and this is equal to 0, okay? So when you see this, this is also a quadratic equation, but at this point, we only need to do factoring. Okay, because you observe that x is here and is also here. So by factoring method, we are going to have factor x out, then use x to divide x squared. It gives you x. Use it to divide 4x. It gives you 4. So then when you distribute it also, it gives you back this. Did you see? And everything is equal to 0. 
like we said, if two terms are equal to zero, either of them is zero. So it means that either this x is equal to zero or x plus four is equal to zero. So this one is already equal to zero and it becomes the third value of our x. Remember we made earlier statement on this that zero is one of the solutions. So you see it coming back again. Then to solve this to find x, you need to subtract four from both sides. And when you do that, you have x is equal to, subtract this, you have negative four. So this becomes the fourth value of x. Now let's gather all the values of x together to have. So the first value of x is negative two plus two i. This is the first value of x. The second value of x is negative two minus two i. Okay, now the third value of x is zero. And finally, the fourth value of x is negative four. So you see, we said earlier that for this being quartic, we are supposed to have four solutions. Now, these two solutions are the complex solutions because they contain both the imaginary part and the real part. So this is a complex solution. And these two are real because they can be found on a number line. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, and if you are still new, subscribe for more tips. Thank you for always engaging. I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye.